Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video we're doing a review on this product right here, which is the Dippity Do Girls With Curls Jelly. So I got this product at TJ Maxx and here's a little clip of that day. So this is the third store I'm at trying to find a specific product and I spy with my little eyes. Da -da -da -da. It is here. And here's the price. So the reason why I got this product is because Miss Bianca Renee today, she mentioned that she likes this product, that it really works well on her hair. So when I saw it at TJ Maxx, I was like, wow, they finally have it. They always have the mousse, they have the other stuff. So I finally found this, so that's what we're doing in today's video. Hopefully this product works out well for me, so we shall see. In the back, it says Curl Shaping Jelly. I should read it in French because I took French before. Do it. Wait. Oui. Shape smooth and separate your curls with natural aloe, vitamin E, and wheat protein to help eliminate frizzy texture and calm kinks for soft, silky, and healthy looking curls and weight. Direction. Apply to towel dried hair from roots to ends and scrunch the shape curl. Now what's funny is that when I do... Look at this. When I do my first impressions or my product review, I don't like to know anything about the product. I don't like to smell it. I don't like to look at it. I don't like to do anything. I just buy it. And that's it. And then I reviewed right here and give you guys my first impression. So when I got this at TJ Maxx, I told Anthony to open it up far away from me so I don't have to smell it. But I told him to open it to see if it looks right. Like, you don't want to have, like, no gummy bears or anything random in your hair product. So when he opened it up, he was like, oh, yeah, look, it's normal. And then he was like this, look. And then I was like, wow, so it's pink. So <laughs> this my is a bad. pink product. So I already knew that. I was like, why'd you show me that? I didn't even know why I showed you. He was like, oh, look, there's nothing weird in it. Look. And I was like, wow, it's pink. So that was funny. So, spoiler, it's pink. Oh, it smells pretty, it smells pretty good. It smells good. It smells, dang, I feel like I'm getting bad with describing sun. I used to, like, always feel so proud of myself that I was able to describe scent really well. But this, I don't know. It has, like, a little fruity scent. But it's not a weird fruity. Like, it smells good. It's, like, very calm. I like it. So let's go ahead and apply it. So it is like a jelly. That's how it looks. It doesn't look sticky. My hair is like soaking wet. Oh, it's gonna take forever to dry. I hate when I do that. Because I like to air dry, so I don't like to have my hair so wet because then it takes forever for it to dry. So man. But this product said you can do towel dried hair, so I'm like, great. Okay, so this is pretty much all I'm going to apply to my hair. I'm going to go ahead and let it air dry, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Because this is just really quick. This is really, really quick. First impressions, what do I see? Quick, to the point. Quick. Now that my hair is completely air dried, I can give you guys my first impressions. So let's start with the cast. So this product did have an initial cast, but after I broke it up, my curls are feeling nice and soft right now and kind of fluffy, which I am really liking that. My curls are defined, as you guys can see, except for the top area, like this part. I don't know if the zoom in shot really helps out, but it's a little bit frizzy. I did apply a good amount to the top of my hair, but it's still a little bit frizzy. So I'm going to add more product in to see how I can take care of that. But for first day here, my curls are defined, except for the top. It's feeling very soft and yeah, it doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel dry. It feels nice because it feels soft. So that's pretty much my first impression of this product right here. I'm going to keep trying it out. So I'll see you guys for day two. So today's going to be the second and final day of me reviewing this product right here. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what the claims are of this product. And then I'm going to go through my hair checklist of what I look for in a hair product. So let's start with the claims of this. So it says it's going to leave you with soft frisbee curls, and it did do that, kind of. My curls are very soft, but as you guys can see, it is a little bit frizzy. So that's like the major claim of this. It says light hold. It doesn't have any like keywords like moisturizing or anything like that. It just says light hold, frisbee curls. It's going to give you a soft, silky, healthy looking curls and waves, so nothing too crazy. So now let's go through my little checklist. The lighting is going in and out, so what's new with my videos so first thing on my list is ingredients so this product does contain protein so if you guys are protein sensitive or anything like that 
Keep in mind, it does have protein. Um, it doesn't have any alcohol. It's paraben-free. I believe it's silicone-free. So the greeting list is pretty short. Next thing I want to mention is price. So it costs $5.99, which is really, really cheap. And it brings 11.5 fluid ounces, which is pretty crazy. And you guys can find it at TJ Maxx or Marshall. So if you guys want to look into any of those discounted stores, you always can. But it brings a lot, and it's very cheap. Cheapy, cheapy. Um, next thing I want to mention is hydration. Now this product doesn't mention anything about hydration, about being moisturizing or anything like that. So it's not something I was expecting and it's a gel. So if I use a gel, I already know it's not going to be hydrating whatsoever. So for first day hair, my hair felt very soft. So I didn't really notice that it felt dry. But today, day two, my hair feels pretty dry. I don't know if it looks like it on camera, but I don't know. It feels a little bit dry to touch. So the hydration is not really there. I would maybe recommend using this with like a lightweight conditioner or like something more creamier to give you that hydration because this is a gel at the end of the day so I wouldn't use it by itself so don't do that either. Well if you want to, do whatever you want. Next thing I want to mention is how did it make my hair feel and how was it reapplying. So I did apply more product like I always do. I like to add water first to reactivate what I have yesterday and I did that and my hands was a little bit sticky. So applying this, it went through smoothly on the hair, my hands felt some stickiness. But you're able to, I was able to just wash my hair so it wasn't a big deal. Um, applying this, it does leave a cast. So it's like day one all over again. So my hair is very soft here. But I have some crunchiness in the front of my hair. Because I did apply more product this morning. Also, I did apply more product last night. Just because it was a little bit frizzy in the front. And by applying some, it was like a lot of cast in the top of my hair. The bangs area. It did look nice last night. I'll give it that. But it was like hardness like a helmet and then it was like softness here so it's pretty weird to reapply the gel just because it is going to leave that cast um curl definition and is it long lasting so for day two hair my curls are still somewhat defined but at the same time it's pretty undefined so some sections are pretty frizzy i don't know if you guys can see all around my hair it's not as defined as it was for first day hair and i think it's because of the lightweight hold this does provide so if you apply the product it leaves a cast but once you break up that cast your hair is going to feel soft and it's going to look nice but it's not going to look as defined as when you had that initial cast on the hair so if you guys want to break it up you can if you want that soft look but if you guys want to keep your curls looking more defined then you don't well i would recommend breaking the cast but i didn't break the cast in my bangs area last night and i left my hair looking nice and put together but I ended up breaking it because I was like, man, this is a little bit too stiff for me. Next thing I want to mention is the scent. Now, this has like a nice fruity scent. It doesn't have any distinct fruitiness to it, like an apple scent, banana scent, or anything like that. It just smells like an old school LA looks gels to me. Like it has like that old school gel that doesn't stink. It doesn't smell bad. I like the way it smells. And it doesn't linger. So keep that in mind if you guys don't like lingering scent. It doesn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like it smells good. Like... I like it and it's not super strong either and it doesn't really linger on the hair your hair is not gonna smell like anything weird I think it smells pretty good but pretty much that's everything I have to say about this dippity do some weird to say dippity do girls with curls um jelly this product right here that's all the things I have to mention um if you guys have tried this product out before or if you guys have seen it before let me know thank you so much for watching if you guys found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.